how to finally get into action, taking the first step, getting moving and starting to build the life that you want and getting results in the specific things that you're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is BC. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to give you a breakdown today on some simplistic things that you can do, whether you're here for your career, your personal life, getting better in fitness, health, whatever it is. I'm going to break this thing down in such a simple way that by the end of this video, you will know exactly what to do. Number one, embrace simplicity. The more difficult you make this thing and the more complex you make it, the less likely you are to execute. Here's mistake number one that people make. You follow too many people and you try to mash together what 20,000 different people say. Now, when it comes to taking action, that's not when you, what you do. When it comes to refining ideas, your beliefs, your philosophies, and your identity, yes, you do that. However, when it comes down to taking action in a practical way, mishmashing 20,000 different ideas and things is not the way to do it. We need to have one concise blueprint and one concise way of doing things. That's the first one, okay? So in the spirit of that, we need simplicity. So, right, when I was an entrepreneur, uh, just starting out in real estate. I kept it simple. I crafted a simple schedule for me that I blocked off into four sections. My morning, when I woke up until I started work and what I did in that morning routine. My work day, which was split up into three quadrants, eight to 12, 12 to three, three to six, right? That was my pretty much my work day roughly. And then the evening routine, that's it. So three main parts of my schedule with my actual workday being split into three, the power of three, right? That's how simple I kept it. Once you have that mapped out, it's very easy for you to take the thinking out of it and just get to work. Now, the piece behind that, which we'll cover in a second, is your commitment to the process. Because before you start any of this, you need a 100% commitment to what you're going to do. Not 90, not 50, not 10. Are you fully committed to this process? When I got into real estate and became an entrepreneur, I said, I am 100% in, I'm burning the boats, I'm cutting everything else off, and I'm 100% dedicated to this thing. And I will do every single thing on this schedule and what I map out because what's on the other end of it, I want so bad. And many of you are so disconnected with who you are and where you wanna go, you don't know what you want. And that's a problem. Because before you even decide to start this process, you need to know exactly where you are, where you wanna go, and who you wanna be. Specifically, how much money, what's your life gonna be like? This is where your visualization, your imagination, and all the things come into play when it comes to mapping out the future because that's the guiding light. When times get tough, when challenges happen, when you get your ass kicked, that's what you're gonna focus on to keep you going because I had many, 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 many dark times my first couple of years in entrepreneurship and I still do now because we all go through challenges. But I was clear about who I was who I wanted to be and where I wanted to go. And for many of you, you watch too many other people instead of living your life and mapping out what you want in life. And that is a problem. That's a big problem, okay? So let's continue. We have this simple process, we're committed, you know what you want. Now, when it comes to the execution of this thing, right? Every single quadrant that I had, like eight to 12, I had one task when I was an entrepreneur. Prospect, lead generate, Knock on doors and make phone calls. That's it for four hours. That's it. 12 to four was all the middle stuff. The follow-up, eating lunch, right? Taking a break. I, I set a few things in there hour by hour. And then the end was either I'm going to meet clients or I'm going to do more lead generation and prospecting, right? That's it. That's how simple my schedule was. It wasn't these 20,000 different things, right? But see, here's the key. That's action. Not watching videos, not listening to podcasts. That's in your downtime. You're either going to do that. What I'd recommend you do that is mostly on the weekends and then in your evening routine. Because when you wake up, your morning routine, maybe some reading, right? Exercise, do what you got to do. But all the learning, which many of you, for many of you, it's just mental masturbation and entertainment. Let's be real. You're not really learning because you're not applying yourself. But the majority of your day needs to be action. Because this is the key when it comes to, act, to building something and creating something. 90% of the time, 80-90% of the time, you need to be taking action. That work day that I, that I put out there, there's no YouTube and podcasts, right? In the morning, I would read 30-45 minutes and sometimes at night before I went to sleep. I wouldn't watch videos on YouTube, right, and podcasts. Back in the day when I started 11 years ago, that didn't really exist. But even now, focus on the right things. Now, I'm going to recommend that regardless of what you do, you have coaching and training, real coaching and training that you pay good money for. Because then during your education hours, you tune into that. Because that is superior to anything else that you're going to get. Why? Coaching and training is specialized training to get a measured result. 
You come to me, hey, Brian, I want to become this proficient at sales. I want to make this much money in real estate. Great, then I can coach you and help you. Whether it's your social skills, whatever it is, if I did, or the next coach, whoever it is. You specifically go to them, you pay a certain amount of money, you dedicate a certain amount of time for a specific measured result. That's what coaching is for. Okay? That's what you're going to do. Now, once you begin, right, it's a matter of understanding that this is a day-by-day process where that end result, every day you're taking a step and you need to focus more on the journey and your progress versus the result. Because the number one mistake that people make when they start is whatever is at the end, because they don't achieve that in a couple days, a week, two weeks, or a month, they get frustrated because their eyesight is too forward instead of day to day. How do we keep this thing in check and make sure that we stay efficient and that we wake up every day motivated and keep working? Well, you look at your progress. If you're gonna make cold calls and lead generate and work on those skills, well, what, take note of your skills day one versus day seven and 14 and 21 and 30 and 60, right? This is why it's so important too that you track what you're doing. You track your numbers, you measure everything. Right, Because then later on, we can take a look at what's really going on and where we can improve, but this makes it more real for you because you're seeing with your vid- video journal like I used to with YouTube and Facebook, right? Like my social media, if we're going to pause during this, this point, it was literally one of the points that I had in the beginning was I wanted to make a video diary and, and track everything. And that's one of the reasons that I did it. So whether you journal in person, right, in writing, you do the videos, it doesn't matter. Because now you can track and see the improvement. I watch my videos from a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. My communication skills and who I am as a person has completely changed and revolutionized. Because I understand the importance of tracking and seeing. Not because I lost sight of the goal in the future, but because I know the importance of focusing on seeing the improvements. Because the world and how you were brought up and I was brought up and everybody was brought up forces you in a way and conditions you to focus on the negative and what's missing, not on progress, evolution, the betterment, and in the improvements. If anything, pay attention to this. We're shunned for that. You beat yourself up on Facebook or YouTube, people will come clap for you and pat you on the back. You wanna give yourself some praise and say, you know what, I'm a badass, I did X, Y, Z. People will start saying you're cocky or you're arrogant. All right? Pay attention to that, because that dynamic is key when it comes to the fostering of a stronger mindset. You don't realize that you're automatically going towards beating yourself up and never giving yourself any credit. So if there's anything I want to add to this point about staying on course, it's you need to take a look. The lion's share of the energy that you spend on yourself, is it spent solely on criticizing yourself or are you equally giving yourself credit and honoring yourself and praising yourself? Because there's a big difference there, right? And most people, 90% are criticizing themselves. and There's nothing wrong with it. However, there is something wrong with it if you don't have the opposite, which is praising yourself and giving yourself credit for what you're doing. And that's a problem, okay? Another point I wanna add to this before we continue is other people's approval, and this is key for this process, for you to stay motivated and on point. Other people's approval is a bonus and cherry on top, not a requirement. You don't need your friend's approval, you don't need your parents' approval, you don't need your family's approval, you don't need anybody's approval except your own on this journey and what you wanna do, period. That one is a tough one for people to swallow, but I get that question all the time. How do I get my parents to support me? How do I get this person to support me? Mm -mm. Nope. You decided to do it, that's it. You don't require anybody else's support. This is a big one because this one weighs on people emotionally because they think they're supposed to fight and claw to try to get certain people to support them, when in reality, you don't. You don't, okay? So now we're plugging along. We've got the schedule, we're committed. We know where we want to go, right? Those first three pieces. And now we're doing this thing every day and we're focused on the journey and the progress, not just the result, right? The result is where you're focused on where you're going. But day to day, you're looking at your progress and what you're doing and your improvements and taking note of that to keep this this course that you're on steady. Because what happens right there? What becomes an obstacle for most people in this situation? It's their own mind and themselves. We become our biggest and only obstacles, really. If you allow somebody else to get you down, you're the obstacle because you allowed that to happen. You can't control outside people. You can't control with all this action you take. And this is a big one, guys. Write this one down. There's no time that I can tell you because I get this question a lot. There's no time I can say, hey, day 30, you'll be successful. Day 60, 
you'll be successful. Day 90, you'll be successful. I can't do that. Why? Because we never know. I cannot control the customer who says yes. I can give you the skill set and the tools and you can put yourself in the position to potentially seize the opportunity. However, you cannot guarantee that even if you do everything right, that they respond the right way. If we're talking business, right? It could be the third customer, the first, the tenth. I don't know. So we can't put a time frame on that. And this is why, if you understand the concept of what I just said, and it could be a revelation for you, this is why you cannot get caught up and if you got the result at a certain time or not and set these false and weird expectations. Because then your emotional state, right? Your clarity, your certainty will be riding on a factor that's external that you can't control. Listen to that again. You cannot do that. That is what's causing people to quit. It's never failure, it's quitting. If you're still in the game today, day one, day 100, day 1,000, and you haven't quit, you're still in the game. You lose when you wave the white flag and when you quit and when you give up. And this is why I never give people time frames. I say, you do the work until it's done. You'll get the result when you're supposed to. That's it. And when you do that, right, and you're focused correctly, you're, you're going to now have a different mindset and state of mind going into this thing. Meaning, when you move, when everyone else is distracted, lacking motivation, lacking energy, and lacking drive, you won't because you're going to be tapped in because you understand these mental concepts that I'm giving you here. And I hope you're writing them down and I hope that you're checking your process as you're listening to this to see where you're making mistakes because I made all of these mistakes. Luckily, I had great teachers and people and support around me to point these things to me. And this is why I've always told you, you need to focus on the mental aspect of it. That is what's allowed me to separate myself and make more money than most of the other people that you guys probably follow on these platforms, had more influence, bigger following and all that because of this. Remember, if you follow me and you're still in real estate, I'm working with a developer now who's giving me huge projects that are going to make me a lot of money, right? My team is growing. My network has almost 200 people in it, Team BC, nationwide. Remember that I moved to Miami three years ago during the pandemic and built a nationwide team and started at three months after they shut everything down for COVID. We're moving differently here, but it's because of this. It's not because I'm special or more talented than any of you. It's because of this. I foster and build this. That's what allows me to be more consistent. That's what allows me to share the blueprint that I've shared with people for 11 years and nobody follows it 100%. It's not that I'm more capable than them. It's I cultivated and built this more than them. And that's the key. That's the key in this thing. So uh, these understandings will allow you when you're faced with these situations to respond accordingly because that's all you can do. Remember, whether it's the third customer, the first, the tenth, or the fiftieth that buys, you control your response to every no or yes. Do you not? Do you not? And think about the last time that you really wanted that client and you didn't get it, how you bitched and complained, or right, you started pointing the finger and playing the victim. That's, not, that's you not controlling your response. That's your mind getting the best of you. That's your emotions getting the best of you. All right? I'm spitting facts here, and you, and, and you get it. So let me know in the comment section if you're vibing with what I'm saying. All right? But understand this. As you continue and you stay on that, going back to the original point, we don't know when that day is going to come. However, what happens is if you're continuously assessing, you're seeing what you're doing right, you're seeing the adjustments that you need to make, and you're on this road, boom, 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 eventually when you're on this journey, you hit that original goal. And what I want you to start doing now, if you're on this path and you're even anywhere close to that goal, is already set one, two, or three goals beyond it. Because one of the best things you can do to steer yourself as a human being and keep that fire lit right, and keep that fire lit, is to always have that second, third, fourth goal beyond the one that you're going to hit, whether now or in the near future. Otherwise, you hit the goal, you celebrate, you peak, and then you crash because you're not giving yourself direction. Where we lack to give ourselves focus and direction, we lead ourselves to our demise. We suffer. We have issues. And that's so key in this game. You always have to keep that sight and that eyesight moving forward not backwards, not down. And when you do that, you will have so much more momentum as a human being, okay? So what are some other practical things that we can do? Well, when it comes to setting the schedule and following what you're gonna do, again, remember, nobody's perfect, right? If you wake up a little bit late one day and you miss your routine, you start wherever you're at. You don't throw the day or complain or, or you know, kind of sit there and wallow in your own misery, right? You woke up 30 minutes late, okay, what's that first thing you do? Brush your teeth or whatever, get ready, and then start where you're at and get back on track. 
right? Because the focus here is to get to as close as perfection as possible. None of us are perfect. I make mistakes too. I don't follow my schedule 100% of the time. But, but damn it, I'm close. I'm at 90%, 95%. And this is why I'm getting more done. The closer we get to that 100, you're at 80, 90. You're doing good, man. That's something to give a thumbs up and give yourself credit for. Not complain about it or say, oh man, I'm not perfect, so therefore it doesn't work. You want to do it most of the time. You want to be as close to perfect most of the time. And when you do that, things are better. Because all that last point is that I just gave you, is a matter of focusing your attention and your mind properly. That's all that is. You do that, you're good, man. You're good. Because you will, you will be on that course. Think about it. All the times that you guys didn't take action, your action wasn't good, right? Something didn't happen, right? Just think of all the times that things didn't work out. Was it really the external or a conditional thing or was it just your mind? Was it your mind that made you not motivated? Was it you, yourself, and your emotions that got you off track or you know, got you from, you know, you got cussed out on the phone and you stopped calling. That's not what stopped you. It's the negative self-talk, your emotional reaction that got you to stop. It's always us. And the moment you flip, because this is the next point, when you flip that, you're now doing what's called taking full responsibility for everything. The actions, the results, your reactions, and everything else. When you take full responsibility, you now seize control of this mechanism and you now can use it to go out there and operate at a different level. Whenever I don't get a deal, I'm not blaming the customer. Whenever something didn't work out, I'm not blaming the other person or anything else. I'm looking inside first and foremost and saying, what could I have done better? Where could I have improved? What did I do right? What did I do wrong? When you do that, this thing begins to, to, to shift. You stop being reactive, you stop getting so emotional, and you're focused on solutions, not the problem, right? And as, as we're unpacking this thing, and in regards to getting started, taking the first step, or whatever it is that, that you kind of label this as, I'm just talking about us. I'm giving you some very simple stuff, right? It's never the execution or the information and the techniques. It's us. It's us. And if anything, going back to that beginning portion in the morning, right, that morning routine, that's to prime yourself to be as efficient as possible the rest of the day. Because if you do things like take a cold shower, read, uh, you know, you exercise, you get the blood flowing, you will be ready to go focused and prepared and warmed up for the day. That's not some cliche self-help BS. Wake up earlier, get the blood flowing, right? Eat something, read, prep your mind, stay off social media, stay off email, no negativity. Leave that shit for after 12. That way you're focused and primed so when you start your work day, you've already been up, the blood's flowing, you're not dragging ass, your voice is warmed up, you're fired up, you're ready to go. It's that simple. You do that, man, you're already ahead of 90% of people. And that's really what it is. But understand that when you want to start everything that I just said in this video, it's going to clash with you because all these things are new and it may seem extreme to you and it's a question mark. Embrace it. You have to put your trust, this is the key, you have to put your trust in the process to make this emotionally digestible for you. Trust the process. Everything that I've given you on my YouTube, if you're watching me, right, has been because I've done it and it's tried and tested. This isn't shit that I just read or that I'm spitting out of the top of, you know, out of my ass. This is real shit. This is real stuff. And this is what's going to help you become successful because every single principle that I've given on YouTube, whether it's surface level or more in depth, I've done, embodied, and mastered myself first before I ever told it to you. At the very least, I was in the process of doing it while I talked about it and showing you guys. Go back 10, 11 years. Look at all this stuff. Everything I said I was going to do, I've done and more. But, but you, need, you need to trust this process because this is the key. If you don't trust the process and believe what I'm saying, nothing's going to work. Because then, again, you think it's outside of you, you're not capable, and all these things that we've been talking about for a long time. Trust the process because when you trust the process, you don't question it. You don't try to change anything. You just show up and you do what you're supposed to do based on what the blueprint tells you. And that's the cleanest state of mind and beingness to operate in is that. You trust the process, you come in, you're given the instruction, you follow, you're a good student, you apply. That's it. You do that, you're going to get results. Because I don't know anybody who's followed that who hasn't. All the students that come into my coaching and my teams, the ones that follow it the most and trust the process, get the result every single time. The people who don't, depending on their level of results or how close they were to that maximum level, it all depends when I look at how far they've deviated from the blueprint and trusting the process. The more they've deviated away and trusted less, less results. The more they follow the, 
the, the, the plan and trusted the process, the better the result. Every single time. It's like math, right? All this stuff. Remember, this trail has been blazed before you arrived in regards to improvement, development, success, progress, evolution, mental acuity, emotional intelligence, all these fancy buzzwords and marketing terms. This isn't new. People package up these things and give them a different name and present them to you as if they're new. They're not. It's all the same thing. And that's why I, I want to make a side point right here real quick. This is why I urge many of you to not follow so many people and you know, get lost in the YouTube and, and podcast algorithm because a lot of these things are the same shit packaged up with a different name and you think you're learning something new. You're not. You're not. Which is why you need to get what you need and then get to work. And that's how I want to wrap up this video. You get the bare minimum that you need to take action. Stop overstudying, trying to get 20 steps ahead. Master where you're at. This is why, like I tell people, you get on my coaching program, you don't go through all the lectures and all the lessons. You start with lesson one chronologically. You learn, you apply the techniques over and over and over. When you have a good, firm grasp and understanding and mastery of them, you go to number two, and then number three, and then number four. You don't just come on and watch all the lectures and then like you've accomplished something. That doesn't do anything. Same thing even with YouTube. You take what you can from a video and you apply it before you start watching 20 or 30 different videos. But that's the problem with all these free platforms and podcasts is people have no direction, no guide for a specific measurable result like they do with coaching. That's the issue is they're just flying by the seat of their pants and doing what they think they're supposed to do. And when you lack that direction and discipline and accountability and those systems and that, again, blueprint and path, you will suffer because you will go where you think you're supposed to go instead of going to the intended place, the intended destination. And the more you you are lackadaisical about this process and not specific and disciplined, right? You're going you're gonna to suffer. And the more specialized we are, the more narrowed in we are, right? The better it's going to be. Think of an eagle, right? Spots his prey from a mile away, maps it out, boom, and swoops with absolute 100% accuracy. And that's why they catch whatever they're going to catch. And think of other you know, predators and birds and animals that hunt the same way. They don't just show up, well, I'm going to hunt today. No, they're specific. They follow a specific strategy. And many of you aren't following that strategy or even some of the basic things that I've given here because you file it under I already know or that's BS or that's cliche. Yeah, but the basic stuff, do you actually know it and do you understand it and have you mastered it? Because my guess is probably not. And this is why many of you, and this breaks my heart to say this, many of you have been following me for years and you're still in the same fucking spot and I just don't understand it. That's why I tell you, take the next step. Get on my coaching. Go, go to someone else's. Take the, the, the steps to get the help that you need because that's the, the way I'll, I'll tie a bow on this thing. You need help. Everybody needs help. I got help. You're going to need help. The next person's going to need help. And when you step up and get the help that you need and you do the things that you're supposed to do, you will get the result. If you're not getting the result, it's you. It's not the process. It's not the business. It's not lead generation. It's not the script. It's not the system. It's you if you're not getting the result. And you need to take responsibility and ownership of that and then say, okay, I'm not getting the result. It's me. What do I need to change? And this happens in every area of life. If you suck right now in your dating life, it's you, not the dating market. If you suck in your business, it's not the business, it's you. If you suck with your health, it's not the food or the gyms or anything else, it's you. That's the problem. If you lack focus and discipline, it's nothing outside of you except for you. And this is really what I want to hammer home here at the end. It is us, Y-O-U, you, the person looking back at you in the mirror. That's what's holding you back. That's what's in the way. That's what's causing you the lack of results in all these areas. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Appreciate you. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share this one on all your platforms as well. Send your friends and tell them about it. Any specific help you guys need from me, coaching, consultations, courses, all the links. <clears throat> all the links are below. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.